everyone! So today I'm going to be doing this really pretty wintry snow fairy mask. If you want to learn how to do this, keep on watching! Okay. So the first thing we're going to do for this design is lay out the base color in metallic white. And I really like this color because, um, and I'm sure you've heard this a million times before, but it's soft and you can make any color you want pearlized and pastel with this. So on a clean sponge, I'm just going to load this up really well. Um, you do have to really clean, uh, cream this product up because it could go on very, very sheer. So I'm going to get a, a really good amount on my sponge. Okay, so starting at the center of my face, just right here and then just above my eyebrows, I'm going to go up and then go in a curved motion after the arch of my eyebrows. I'm going to do the same thing going down this way. So it's going to go up and down. I'm going to go over my eyes. And under. Okay, so basically what you're left with is a really pretty pearly sheen that goes from skinny and then flares up and down at the corners. Now I'm going to be face. taking some diamond effects um, light blue. And I'm going to first put the light blue on the sponge, but since this is a wintry, icy design, I want it all to be um, pearly, glittery colors. So I'm going to take my metallic white and I'm going to mix the two right on the cake. The lightest blue and starting from the center of my eye. I'm going to go all the way back and just blend those I'm together. I'm going to take the darkest color, which is the Diamond FX Metallic Blue, and it's a pretty intense. So I'm also going to mix this color. Um, so here it is on my sponge. I'm going to mix this one with the white, too, to soften that color because I don't want it so intense. And this will just go on the very outside design of my eye and I'll bring it down there a little bit. Use the other side of your sponge, it has that metallic white on it to blend it. So basically how you blend um, is you take your darker color, You, I like to go lightest to darkest, take your darker color, stipple it where you want it to go. It won't be totally blended so you flip your sponge over with that lighter color on it and you pull the color out and into the lighter color and you'll get a really beautiful blend that so way. I'm going to take some Diamond FX white and a number one brush and I'm going to start the uh, design. So I'm going to do a snowflake directly in the center of the design and I hate painting in the center of my face because it's hard to see what I'm doing and I have to go cross-eyed but uh, here's how you do a snowflake. So starting at about right here, you're going to put your brush down very straight and flick up as straight as you can. And then you're going to do it going down and out both sides. And out each corner. So, so far it looks like a really big starburst. The difference is at each point, we're going to do little points. So right here, just like that. Oh. On the side of the eye, right in the corner, you're just going to bring up a swirl. Now you want to keep it pretty close to the eyebrow because there's going to be a lot going on over here too. From the bottom of the swirl, we're going to connect another swirl going the same direction. And you want to bring it as close to your snowflake as you can. And you're going to repeat that on the bottom section. From the corner of your eye, 
really, really skinny on your brush, really light on your brush, I should say, and very straight, you're going to go up, follow the curve, and then press with your brush, and that'll add like a little bead at the top of your line. Another one down here. And a smaller one. And one more. So with these two, you followed the curve. Now with this last one, go a little bit straighter. So it just kind of uh, fills that space a little better. And then at the very end, just do a quick uh, starburst. So flick, 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 flick. Flick, flick, flick. I'm going to do two more starbursts where the two swirls meet. Alright, now I'm going to repeat all of this on that side and I'll be right back. I'm going to start up here and just do little dots following the line of the coloring. So just filling in the outside area of the mask, and I'm going to bring it, uh, the mask together by doing them along the inside as well, up at an angle pointing towards the center right here. So the dots are going to be pointing up, if that makes sense. And some more going into the snowflake. To finish it off, I'm going to take some iridescent glitter and put it all over the entire design. Okay, so there you have it, just a pretty winter snow fairy mask. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you're able to use it in a future event and that you stay warm and have a wonderful holiday. Thanks everybody. Bye.